everyone, welcome back to Liz Sews. In today's Bra 101 series, we're gonna be talking bra supply shops. Now, one of the questions I always get from budding bra makers is that they wanna know what to buy at Joann's. And unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to find the bra making supplies that you need at your local fabric store. It's sort of a niche market and it's just not readily available in your mom and pop haberdashery or you know, big box store like Michael's or Joann's. That being said, I have been able to find Power Mesh or Power Net sometimes at Joann's, but that's not every time I go, and they certainly don't have things like wires and hooks and eyes and things like that. So I would really rely very heavily on online shopping for this, and I know that it can be a little bit confusing just because you're not familiar with the fabrics are, and that's going to be a topic we're going to discuss in later episodes of Bra 101. So what I was thinking about this video, uh, I went back and forth about how I was going to present it to you. And what I've decided to do is that I'm going to show you guys the five bra supply shops that I use the most. So these are ones that I shop at quite frequently. I feel very confident in the quality of their products and their service and can wholeheartedly vouch for them. I am going to include some links in the description box below of some other shops that are available. Uh, and just know that these are ones that I don't necessarily shop at all the time or ever. And so I don't, I can't testify to their quality, but I just want to make sure you have as much information as you can possibly have. So the first one we're going to look at is Bra Makers Supply. So Bra Makers Supply is out of Canada and they are the home base for Beverly Johnson, who is the designer behind Pinup Girl Patterns. So if you're interested in the Pinup Girl Patterns, they that Bra Makers Supply shop does have the entire full range of pinup girl patterns for you available. Whereas if you go to some other supply shops, they might only have a couple of the patterns. So when I think of bra maker supply, I tend to use them more as like mm, my staples. So I'm gonna be able to get duoplex and sheer cup lining and cut and sew foam and elastics and wires and just like the basic things that you need to make a bra. Now they do have some laces, it's not very many, and they're not the kind of lace that I get excited about. So that is not to say that you couldn't find something there that's absolutely gorgeous or something that you love. I'm just saying how I tend to use this shop is to get my base fabrics. Now they do have a standard set of colors that they use and those are available in all of their fabrics and elastics. And so it's really nice because you know immediately that everything's going to match. The colors they have, I'm gonna to try to list them all and I don't know if I can remember them, but I am gonna pop up a picture over here. Hopefully that will show them to you as well. So we have white and black and beige and light copper, navy, pink, peach, turquoise, fuchsia, lilac, chocolate, uh, I think that might be all of them. Bra Maker Supply also carries loads of kits in these standard colors as well. So you can choose a kit and they have them. I think they're called duos or trios. So it just, it depends on the type of fabrics that you want in the kit. Uh, and I think lately they have been giving you the flexibility that if you want a fabric in one color, let's say fuchsia, but you wanted the elastics in a different color, like lilac, you could do that within the same kit. So a lot of options there. So another thing when looking at bra maker supply, as I had mentioned, they are in Canada. If you are in the United States, the shipping can be a little bit on the pricey side. And when you're shopping on their website, it shows the items in US dollars, but once it moves into your cart, it then changes to Canadian dollars. So if suddenly you find your cart is a lot more expensive than you expect it to be, it's probably because the currency has been converted into Canadian dollars. So just something to keep in mind when you're shopping. The next supplier I love is Beware. And I have to say of all of the bra making supply shops, this is the one that I shop at the most frequently. And I have been for years. So Beware is located in Sweden, or so they are a great option if you are anywhere in the European Union, but the shipping to the United States has always been very economical for me. I've never felt like I was overpaying for shipping but it does take a little bit while, longer to get here. Uh, it could get here in as soon as two weeks, but lately with all of the pandemic stuff, it has taken a little bit over a month. Uh, so if you need something immediately for a bra or a commission or something like that, probably not where you wanna go just because it's a little bit slower, but their selection is phenomenal. So they carry everything 
in terms of fabrics that bra maker supply has so all of those different colors of duoplex and cut and sew foam and elastics you can find at beware but they also have a wide range of stuff that they're bringing in on their own as well so they have tons of beautiful laces like frequently i will just go and and look at laces in window shop and daydream and it's hardly ever that i end up leaving the store without buying a couple more laces um, and i do have a couple of haul videos from beware that i will link up in the cards over here if you guys are interested in just seeing some of the things that i purchased from them over the years in terms of patterns they do carry pinup girl patterns but they also carry a line of their own patterns as well uh, so the angie and the jessica bra pattern they carry evie Louvre patterns uh, madeline some quick sew and some jelly patterns i believe i think one of the reasons why beware has been one of my go-to shops is that it really is just a one-stop shop for everything i could possibly want for bra making so be sure to check them out the next shop that i want to talk about is the tailor-made shop now the tailor-made shop is based out of new york in the united states she is currently shut down due to the pandemic but i hopefully will come back online soon uh, and so the tailor-made shop is a little bit more curated i would say she has a very distinct aesthetic and she likes to create kits that match that aesthetic so she has absolutely gorgeous lace selection and a selection of both non-stretch and stretch laces especially if you're in a larger bust size sometimes these embroidered tools are a lot better and give you a lot more support and still have the gorgeous look of lace uh, she also does a lot of gorgeous kits for her laces and a lot of times she will cater the kit specifically to a pattern so tailor-made shop does not sell any patterns herself and she doesn't design any patterns but she does have collaborations with other pattern designers to give you kits for exactly what you need last time i was on there she had several kits for emerald aaron's black beauty bra uh, both view a and b and then she has a lot of collaboration kits with orange lingerie for different uh, bras marlboro and stuff like that and then she also has some general like all-purpose kits that are just like if you want to make a soft bra there's a kit for that or you're going to make a wired bra there's a kit for that so she does have really really beautiful things but like i said it's just a little bit more condensed down and, and distilled into just what she finds beautiful and attractive and it's always kind of fun to go on there because she does have different laces coming in constantly different things to see but it's just not as big of a selection as some of the other shops on my list next i want to talk about emerald erin so emerald erin is based out of canada just like bra maker supply but i do find that her shipping is a little bit more economical i want to say that she brings it to the border like in niagara falls and ships from there so it does get here a little bit faster when i place an order with emerald erin it generally takes one week from the time I order it to the time I receive it and that is absolutely phenomenal considering it's just herself and her mother packing out orders. If you guys need some bra making inspiration I would also check out Erin's Instagram feed because she's currently hosting the bra week challenge and she has very fun and exciting projects she's working on every single week and shares all of the steps into how she's making them. So Emerald Erin's shop is a little bit unique in that she only carries three colors of elastic. She has white, black and latte which is like a caucasian nude color so any of the kits or anything you buy you have the option of those three colors of plastic but you don't have anything else i personally like it a lot of times i'm finding color combinations that i wouldn't necessarily thought to use but it works really well like coral and nude or like turquoise and black it makes things a little bit more sportier and it's fun to have that option sometimes just being limited in choices actually pushes you into something that you wouldn't have tried otherwise Erin has a ton of beautiful kits available and they are constantly changing rotation so if you see something that you love I would definitely recommend buying it now because you don't necessarily know that it's going to be available next week or next month because sometimes when she sells out that's it uh, when she released the black beauty pattern several years ago she had some absolutely gorgeous kits and I was really lucky to have bought all of them all of her embroidered toolkits because they were gorgeous and I'm really happy that I did and a lot of people were really bummed out that they didn't get a chance to pick them up because they were really popular so she does kits for all of her patterns the Tuesday boy short the Tuesday boy shorts the Jordy bralette 
and the Black Beauty bra. She also sells the fabrics and notions independently. So if you just need to pick up some cut and sew foam or some elastic, you can buy that by itself. You don't necessarily have to get the kit, but I tend to purchase her products and kits. I do have a couple of haul videos, which again, I can link up here on the side here if you are interested in seeing what it looks like when you order from Emerald Erin. In addition to bra making supplies, she also caters to swimwear with lots of lovely swimwear fabrics and swimwear elastics and the notions you need like giant G hooks and front closures for bras. Just recently, she started expanding her color selection, especially for bra tools. She has like, I wanna say 14 colors of bra tool and they look absolutely stunning. So be sure to go in there frequently and often because she is constantly changing up her stock and rotation. There's always something new and fun to look at. The last bra making supplier that I wanna talk about is Bra Builders and they are based out of Wisconsin in the United States. So Bra Builders is very different from all of the other companies in that she custom dyes every single thing she sells, almost every single thing she sells. So they have a range of standard colors and I can pop up a sample card right there of what they look like. And she, as I mentioned, dyes everything. So she's gonna be dyeing the fabric, the elastics, the notions, all are dyed to match in that same color tone. In addition to the standard colors she has available, she also has kits every month that are like thematically linked to the month. So for instance, in March, she had some lovely green kits, which I definitely poured taped in. Uh, and most recently for May, I think she did a, a run of tulip fabric. And that's another thing. She has these absolutely gorgeous bamboo floral fabrics that she has digitally printed custom for her shop. So you cannot get this fabric anywhere else. If you like it, you need to buy it from her. So it's really fun every month to see what the kit's going to be. There's always something exciting, something to spark my imagination. And typically the kits are going to be accompanied with some special colors. So different colors that aren't necessarily on her standard docket of dyed colors. And if you ever want to buy some of those colors, you can just by selecting special color in the drop down box. So really, really love using bra builders, especially when I'm looking for unique colors. I think it's really, really easy to find a nude and a white and a black, like those are pretty much available at any shop you go to, but Bra Builders has a very unique selection of blues and purples and yellows and greens that are just outstanding. And so a lot of times what excites me is just the colors. Sue has also started bringing in a lot of new stuff recently. I think that is one thing about a shop that really keeps me coming back again and again, is if their, their stock and rotation keeps changing, so there's always something for me to be excited about. So she recently brought in bra tool and I think like a dotted sheer mesh, which is really, really pretty. She's got some wider elastic, so like, like elastics that are like maybe two inches wide um, that can be used for the bottom band of a bra or even the top of some underwear. So always really exciting things coming in. And of course, all of those things can be custom dyed any of her color selections. So I had mentioned previously, we have Beware, which is my one-stop shop. We have TaylorMade, which is my curated beautiful selection. Then I have Emerald Erin, which is just fantasy inspiration. And finally, we have Bra Builders. And when I think of Bra Builders, it's just color. She has so many fun, unique colors. There's always something that looks amazing. And of course, just like the other shops, if you guys are interested in seeing a haul of Bra Builders products, I will link them up in the cards over there. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found some supply shops that you'd like to purchase from. Come back next time when we start looking at the individual fabrics used in bra making. If you guys are new to my channel, please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you know every time that I upload a video. Until next time, take care.